guys what up guys Matt here with drug tag back again with another video for you guys and hope everyone's staying safe right in front here i actually just received this package a couple of hours ago and this is actually a case by subcase for the galaxy s20 ultra so if you haven't subscribed to this channel already hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest content which i post so without further ado let's get back into the unboxing Alright guys, so we are back and if you didn't know about Subcase, Subcase is actually a pretty good brand and most importantly their cases are very affordable and they provide excellent drop protection and coverage basically for your device and in my experience I've actually used the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro for my S10 Plus last year and the case has really held up very well, no tears, no cracks and the case basically still remains sturdy as it is when I first bought it. So now I have it for the S20 Ultra, I'm really excited. Of course I bought the screenless edition because I don't like an inbuilt screen protector because it actually degrades the quality of the screen. But anyway, let's get right into this package. I got my unboxing knife right here. Let's cut this open. Alright, let's see what else do we get. Do we have anything else? Nope. It's very nice packaging with uh, bubble wrap as well. Alright, so right here we have the Unicorn Beetle Pro. Alright, so let's take a look at the packaging itself. You can see Subcase branding on the top, Unicorn Beetle Pro. And what else do we have here? This is to certify that it's original. And you can see drop tested, military standard as well. So the box is pretty good. I mean, it's uh, enough for this kind of case. The case always remains uh, safe inside. Okay, let's remove the contents of the box. We have nothing else. So inside here we have a tension notice, you can read this for yourself, so you can see the instructions on YouTube as well, with a QR code right here. Alright, let's see what else do we have, okay let's put the plastic to the side. Okay, so we have a card saying thanks for your support. And please note that this case does not come with a built-in screen protector. I'll be testing out this case with other screen protectors other than the original screen protector. However, I do still have the original screen protector installed on my phone because I think third-party screen protectors are pretty hard to find and I don't believe in uh, sort of white stone dome glass kind of screen protectors because of the adhesive that, that might actually leak into the pots if you're not careful enough. So I think the process and the installation is too tedious. So I don't really fancy those kind of screen protectors. But however, I'll be getting something similar to that but without the hassle. All right. So taking out this uh, protective foam, you can see this is the holster right here. So you can see subcase branding right here. So this also can be rotated 360 degrees. Yes, 360 degrees. I don't really use belt holsters, so I'll just use, be using the case. You can see this clip right here is to actually remove the case. Okay, we have more stuff inside. So here we have an installation guide telling us uh, how to put in the phone. So it's pretty simple, I've done it a thousand times. Okay, let's take a look at this holster right here. You can see a nice soft fabric right here. I guess it's to protect the screen in case it does contact the holster. Nice touch, very nice quality as usual from Subcase. In fact, I will compare this with the Autobox Defenders belt holster because those are very comparable in fact. Okay, let's take a look at the case itself. So you can see Unicorn Beetle Pro. This is also a kickstand by the way. So let me show you that right here. So I love this kickstand because if you're watching Netflix and stuff, you can actually just pop up your phone like this and you're good to go. So you also can stand up vertically like this, you can see right here. So that's a good and nice touch. On the inside you can see subcase branding and then also military standard drop tested. So overall, loving this case. Same same feel, same texture as the S10 version which I used. There's a sticker here saying separate front casing from rear case. So you have to peel this off. So I do like the way they've packaged the cases. So all you need to do is actually just take out the front portion of this case. So that you can remove the frame. You see right here, it's very simple. I'm doing it slightly more rough. But anyway, it's, it's a very simple process. Okay, let's take a look at the out, the outer shell itself. You can see the cutouts and also pop protector. You can see the large camera hole right here. On the top, there's a nice 
big cutout for your noise cancellation microphone. So overall, very nice case. Okay, let me install the phone in the case itself. So this is the top portion. I'm not sure whether they're using foam this time. Nope, they are not using foam this time, which is quite a shame. Usually, they use foam on the top portion so it prevent the frame from actually contacting the screen of the phone. But anyways, let me remove my outer box symmetry case I have right here. I don't know why today, but my camera is not in such a good mood because the autofocus doesn't seem to be working that well. So bear with me. All right. So I have the S20 Ultra right here. So we are going to be fitting in the top portion first. So it goes in very simply, just like that. And now we have to slot in the back portion of this case. So we slot in top first. Then we just press our way in. Okay, get this bottom portion in. So it's very simple. In fact, this actually reminds me of the Autobox Pursuit, which I've done a couple of videos back. All right, so everything is in, everything's aligned. So let's take a look at the cutouts. You can see right here. Let's try the buttons out. Very nice and tactile as usual. Very nice. Tactile buttons. Nothing is obstructed. Let me show you the kickstand right here again. So now it's with the phone in. Kickstand works. How about in portrait mode? Let's try portrait mode. Not too stable, but it does get the job done. Oh, I would like to also mention that this case works with wireless charging, so you're not going to have any problems with that. So it works with wireless charging, it works with NFC, means it works with Samsung Pay and so on and so forth. So you're not going to have any features being obstructed when using this case. So by the way, this video is not sponsored. I actually purchased the Unicorn Beetle Pro with my own money. So I got this pretty good. I'll be leaving the links in the description below if you do want to check it out. But however, if you do want to get a slimmer case, you don't like the bulky case, well, the outer box symmetry is always the way to go. I'll be leaving the video I did on the outer box symmetry in the description below as well. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. That's all for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a like if you did like it and subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos.